Hey YouTube, this is uh, Brett from Untouched and Work Guy. I'm in Berlin right now. I'm actually at the Holocaust Memorial. And this place is pretty awesome. Uh, I'm also here with, with Matt. Oh, Matt, we're gonna go this way. Uh, and we're gonna talk about learning to read Thai in two weeks and what that means. And I, like my book, for example, is called Read Thai in Two Weeks. So he's gonna tell, talk about what that means. When, when I say you can read Thai in two weeks, what, what, do you, what can you actually do? What can you do? So, to hear from someone other than myself is probably a good thing. So, Matt, okay. I'm going to give you the camera. Hey. hey, YouTube. Okay, what do you want to know, Brett? Uh, in two weeks? So, what, yeah, what can you do after two weeks? Okay, uh, in two weeks, you can read every letter. You can read every letter. Okay. You can read every word. Right. You can read every word too. Um, what does that mean? I mean, well, it means. <laughs> can you read it, it and pronounce like, it correctly? Uh, I mean, the verse can, is, Yeah, yeah. Okay, so there's a lot of people who say they can read Thai, but they can't because they're saying everything wrong. Yeah, so you can uh, work out which tone a word needs to be. Okay. So after two weeks, you're probably. I mean, you're not going to be like native level speaking or pronouncing the words like a native speaker, but you're going to be probably within about an eighty percent. About eighty percent within like how the words should sound but more importantly you're gonna know all right you're gonna you're gonna know like like which tone it needs to be and that's that's the key because if you know what it needs to be then you can work on getting that to, to sound correct right if can you, you give an rock, example like with a specific word that you know from memory uh, do you know the word for rock or stone hidden. okay so talk about that word okay since there's a lot of it around us yeah there is a lot <laughs> I'm amazed. so what um, tone is that word that'd be a rising tone how do you know it's a rising tone because it's in the high class bracket. Right. And so its default is going to be rising tone. Yeah. And because the ending of the word is open ended. Soft. soft. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's good. So there we go. So, so when you look at that word, you know instantly what tone it is. Yeah. And you get to the point. After two weeks, you're not going to know instantly, but you'll be able to work it out. And after you practice it for a month or two, then you'll be able to know it instantly. Yeah. That's, that's generally how and it works. And the process of, okay, do this first, do this second, do this third. Right. It's kind of easy. I mean, I found it easier to like... Where is this process coming from? It's coming from you. Oh, uh, cool. <laughs> um, but I, I mean, I, I was someone that was intimidated before I you know, thought about learning the language. Right. It's kind of like, mm, I don't know, it's kind of difficult. I, I kind of scared myself off um, by doing it in a step-by-step -step process. Okay. Like, it was just kind of easy and kind of anyone can do it. Right. Anyone can do it. Anybody can do it. You don't it's have to... A, are you a genius or anything? Are you like a super awesome at languages? Uh, I'm not really, I kind of suck. <laughs> <laughs> but, you, but you've managed to get through and do pretty well. Yeah, yeah. And, and you've only been doing this a year and a half. And yeah. you're better than I am after I was yeah. for a year and a half. Yeah. I didn't know what I was doing. Yeah, I mean, when you speak to other people and you're like, hey, I can read Thai, it sounds really impressive. Like, the more people, like, learn about it, you realize, like, actually, it's not that impressive. Like, anyone can do it. Right. Um, but you just need the right guidance in terms of how to get there. Cool. Anything else you want to add? Uh, I think that's it. That's... What, what do you design. think about this place? I think it's what Berlin. This this memorial. Uh, yeah, I think it's interesting. It's. I can't really stray too far from you though, because I don't right, know if right, I right. see you again. It's kind of. I don't know. It's. Amazed. There's no names or I, I don't really even understand the significance of it, but this place is pretty pretty awesome. If I was like, hell, if, actually, if it was just warmer i would run around and play because this is pretty pretty ridiculous i think there are kids running around playing you can do some crazy free running on top of this stuff too but i have a feeling that might be bad all right that's all we got learn time for white guy peace